Good morning. The hymn is number 205, 205. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. Oh, he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. For oh, forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said to our hearts astray, These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. In 205, Lord, who throughout these forty days for us to fast and pray, teach us with thee to warn our sins and close by thee to stay. As thou with Satan didst contend, and did the victory win, O oh, give us strength in thee to fight, in thee to conquer sin. As thirst and hunger thou didst bear, so teach us, gracious Lord, to die to self and daily live by thy most holy word. And these days of penitence, and through thy passion tide, here evermore in life and death, Lord Christ, with us abide. Lord, we would be pleased with lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion blot out my offence. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, was I conceived. Make me here rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crossed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervour sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Oh, in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. Your 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Truly God of Israel, the Saviour, you are God who lies hidden. They will be put to shame and disgrace, all who resist you. They will take themselves off in dismay, the makers of idols. For oh, this is the word of the Lord, the creator of heaven, the God who made earth and shaped it, he who made it firm. He did not create it in vain, he made it to be lived in. I am the Lord, I speak the truth, I proclaim what is right. Assemble all of you, draw near, you who have escaped from the nations. State your case and bring your proofs. Consult among yourselves. Who proclaimed this beforehand? Who foretold it long ago? Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear it. It will say in the Lord alone our victory and power, and to him will come in dismay all who have resisted. Through the Lord will come in victory and glory for all Israel's sons. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. By his suffering shall my servant justify many, taking their faults on himself. Hence I will grant whole hordes for his tribute. He shall divide the spoil with the mighty, for surrendering himself to death, and letting himself be taken for a sinner, while he was bearing the faults of many, and praying all the time for sinners. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters, And from the evil word, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. If your virtue does not surpass that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them.
a saviour would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness who do dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If your virtue does not surpass that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. We give thanks to Christ the Lord, who died on the cross, that we might live. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. Master and Saviour, who have taught us by your life and renewed us by your passion, do not allow us to grow used to sin. You call on us to feed the hungry. Let us deny ourselves some food this day to help our brothers in their need. May we accept from your hands this day of Lent. May we make it yours by deeds of love. End the rebellion within our hearts. Make us generous and willing to share. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is on heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Bend our wills, Lord, so that by this Lenten observance we may fit ourselves to celebrate the Easter festival. And as we have all undertaken to subdue the body, may we all be renewed in spirit. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Let us say the Pax Christi prayer. Thank you, loving God, for the gift of life, for this wonderful world which we all share, for the joy of love and friendship, for the challenge of helping to build your kingdom. Strengthen my determination to work for a world of peace and justice. My conviction that whatever our nationality or race, we are all global citizens, one in Christ. My courage to challenge the powerful with the values of the gospel. My commitment to find non-violent ways of resolving conflict, personal, local, national and international. My efforts to forgive injuries and to love those I find it hard to love. Teach me to share the gifts you have given me, to speak out for the victims of injustice who have no voice, to reject the violence which works through much of our world today. Holy Spirit of God, renew my hope for a world free from the cruelty and evil of war, so that we all come to share in God's peace and justice. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. It's good to be with you today to celebrate this Mass that's offered for Ronnie Kenny. And you know, I'm Father Neil from Birkenhead, and this is Johnson, a student priest who's stood, uh, living with us in Birkenhead at the moment, and saying it's nice to be with you as Father Lucas has a few days rest. And so, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to, gather, came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the Paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, If a wicked man renounces all the sins he has committed, respects my laws and is a law-abiding and honest, he will certainly live. He will not die. All the sins he committed will be forgiven from then on. He shall live because of the integrity he has practised. What? Am I likely to take pleasure in the death of a wicked man? It is the Lord who speaks. And not prefer to say him, renounce his wickedness and live. But if the upright man renounces his integrity, committed sins, copies the wicked man, and practices every kind of filth, is he to live? All the integrity he has practised shall be forgotten from then on. But this is because he himself has broken faith and committed sin, and for this he shall die. But you object, what the Lord does is unjust. Listen, your house of Israel, is what I do unjust? Is it not what you do that is unjust? When the upright man renounces his integrity to commit sin and dies because of this, he dies because of the evil that he himself has committed. When the sinner renounces sin to become law-abiding and honest, he deserves to live. He has chosen to renounce all his previous sins. He shall certainly live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? Out of the depths I cry to you, O oh Lord. Lord, hear my voice. 
O oh, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O oh Lord, shall mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than a watchman for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he would redeem from all its iniquity. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? Let us stand for the Gospel. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, in that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your virtue goes no deeper than that of the scribes of the Pharis and the Pharisees, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. You have learnt how it was said to our ancestors, you must not kill, and if anyone does kill, he must answer for it before the court. But I say this to you, anyone who is angry with his brother will answer for it before the court. And if a man calls his brother fool, he will answer for it before the Sanhedrin. And if a man calls him renegade, he will answer for it in hellfire. So then, if you are bringing your offering to the altar, and there remember your brother has something against you, leave your offering there before the altar, and go and be reconciled with your brother first, and then come back and present your offering. Come to terms with your opponent in good time while you are still on the way to the court with him, or he may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the officer, and you will be thrown into prison. I tell you solemnly, you will not get out till you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Both the Old Testament reading and the Gospel remind us that it isn't just about me and God. If you profess to have a living faith in God, it must be reflected in the way you treat other people. You can't be looking up into the sky and not notice the people who are right in front of you. Because throughout his ministry, that's where Jesus was, right with the people who were there in front of us. That's where God's presence was to be found. And so today Jesus reminds us that we have a responsibility to each other, that 
say if we profess that faith in him it's called to be shown forth in our outlook of life and that's why we come regularly to mass and the sacraments and to prayer so that we may be retuned in that way we may be a little more sensitive but as we receive God's gifts of his love mercy and compassion then we are called to live those gifts and share them and so today we pray that we will live the gracious gifts we have received from God so as to be a living sign of his presence we think of all in our world who are suffering from warfare conflict division that they may know the peace healing and reconciliation of Christ we think of all who are on our minds today anyone or anything we specially want to pray for pray for father Lucas that he will have some days of peace and rest to help him think of anyone we know who is sick we pray for Ronnie Kenny and all that we remember Lord hear us God our Father we ask you to hear these and all the prayers that we bring before you today through Jesus who is Lord forever and ever Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power you will to be recon willed us to be reconciled to yourself and for our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord Amen. and the Lord be with you Amen. lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults raise up our minds and bestow vir both virtue and its rewards through Christ who is our Lord through him the angels praise your majesty Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. Our voices, we pray, join with theirs 
in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes <coughs> in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us in you, O Lord, and, cleansing us of all ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives.